Well, hi everyone. The other day I was in a doctor's office where I was referred and the place was just packed with others like me who were in, seeing a specialist about our aches and pains. Now, if I didn't already know it, pain is certainly a big deal as we get older, isn't it? So when we came across an invitation to interview an experienced orthopedic surgeon, Dr. David Fisher, with more than 500 joint replacement surgeries under his belt, we thought, well, here's an opportunity to learn and maybe others can benefit. To drive the point home, in addition to the doctor, we spoke to Rebecca. Now, she's seen here after she had uh, had both knees replaced in 2012. Now, Rebecca is a professional interior designer, wife and grandmother, and she is definitely a baby boomer like us. We set up a special connection the other day and talked to both in their studio connection connected to ours here at Bloomer Boomer. Hi, Andy. Hello, Andy. Well, thanks, Dr. Fisher, and of course, thanks, Rebecca, for joining us. Doctor, give us a sense of how this affects people. It affects one in five of people in America, and half of them will develop arthritis in their knee. The symptoms that patients get with arthritis will include early on stiffness and some swelling or, or pain and aching in the knee. It may progress to where they're having catching or locking symptoms, and ultimately they may get to where they get sharp pains with the knee buckling or giving way from them. So Rebecca, Dr. Fisher talks about it from a caregiver's viewpoint. You're the patient. How similar is that with you? Well, what Dr. Fisher described is exactly my case. Um, it started with just some aches and pains in the knees, which I thought were age-related, and then just little by little, the disease progressed starting with just over-the-counter drugstore medication and then you reach a plateau with that till I made an appointment with an orthopedic surgeon and I can remember my first appointment he told me that I would probably be a candidate down the road for a double knee replacement and I thought at the time it was just so scary uh, sounding and I thought this cannot be me so I went on from a prescription drug and as Dr. Fisher described it it's just a progression of the disease till finally my work was compromised. Every aspect of my life was compromised because I was in such excruciating pain. None of the medications or the cortisone shots would relieve that pain. And I can vividly remember the tears trickling down my face one morning just trying to pick up the newspaper out of my driveway. And I went in the house and called my surgeon and scheduled myself for double knee replacement. But it sounds like you attempted to adapt your life and suffer through the pain, but it just wasn't working. Yes, it just does not work though. Being active, you think somehow you're gonna be the different case that yes, this drug will work or the first time I had the cortisone shots, I thought, oh my goodness, I'm cured. And they, you reach a plateau because the disease continues. And um, the bilateral knee replacement that I had just I consider it a miracle. It has given me a second life. Dr. Fisher, how confident can others feel about this procedure? Total knee replacement is a technology that's been around for over 50 years. Over the time, the, the technology has evolved to where we, we know we can get good pain relief. We can restore a fair amount of function. The Attune Total Knee System was designed over a six year period of time with 35 surgeons from around the world and a team of engineers to try to address the shortcomings of previous knee systems. And so it's designed to improve the stability that patients feel with the range of motion and improve the function that patients get from this surgical intervention. Typically, Dr. Fisher, I assume someone doesn't jump right into this. What are the characteristic steps prior to realizing that someone actually needs it and may it include surgery? Most people are going to take over-the-counter medications that, that I've already described, Tylenol, aspirin, ibuprofen. They'll see their primary care physician who may recommend injections of cortisone or other treatments. Uh, weight loss can help. There are different things that people can do to try to prolong the life of their joint. But as time goes on and their quality of life deteriorates, they're going to see an orthopedic surgeon at some point in time who will give them uh, an idea of what the procedure entails. Education is a big component of it, and patients need to understand it takes, it takes several months to recover, although by six weeks, most people are 80% recovered from the procedure. Rebecca, we saw some video a moment ago. It looks like you are now living a very active life, so if I may ask, how old are you now, and how has it been? <laughs> <laughs> I am 69 years old now. My surgery was done two years ago, and as I said, I consider it a miracle and a life-changing event. Um, uh, I postponed my retirement. I love what I do. I love my interaction with my clients and I am pain free, which is the most wonderful, wonderful thing. And as Dr. Fisher mentioned, 
You can hear more about my story, the entire uh, Attune system, which both of my knees are Attune knees, orthopods in your own area, and you can go on the website getbacksooner.com. Rebecca, great seeing you live such an active life, and thank you for joining us, and thank you, Dr. Fisher. I hope you enjoyed that. We at Bloomer Boomer plan to do more television interviews. You can see this again on our website at iTunes and the Bloomer Boomer YouTube channel. If you like these types of programs, let us know and like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching. Bye.